Hello everyone and welcome to Ocean Cadence. Today we will be undertaking the topic of Sulzer RTA engines air starting valves. In hindsight, the Sulzer RTA engine air starting valve design differs that from the conventional MAN BMW engine air starting valve designs in a few ways. Let us see how. To understand this better, let us first analyze the starting air valve in its closed condition. The air from the air, ma air start manifold comes to the 30 bar air inlet at the starting air valve and awaits for its entry into the unit. The same air goes to the pneumatic control valve. This pneumatic control valve as a virtue of its default position makes sure that the air supply is underneath the operating piston. This air supply underneath the operating piston makes sure that the starting air valve is in closed position. That means when the pneumatic control valve is ensuring that the air supply is underneath the operating piston, the air pressure pushes the operating piston upwards and keeps the starting air valve in a closed condition. Now when the distributor that is the starting air distributor for a particular unit is activated that is the pilot air is allowed to pass in the form of air signal to the pneumatic control valve. This pneumatic control valve position changes and the 30 bar air is now going to the top side of the operating piston and filling the top space. As a virtue of this, the operating piston is now moved downwards. Along with its movement, the starting air valve opens. Because of this action, where the equilibrium condition of the closed valve is disturbed and the valve is now open, the 30 bar air now enters the unit and gives an air kick that is the starting air kick to the unit. Once the starting air kick for a particular unit is given, again the process that has been explained before occurs. The air goes towards the underside of the operating piston, pushes the operating piston upwards and close the starting air valve. Because of this action, the Sulzer RTA engine air starting valves are termed as positive closing valves because they use the air that is the air pressure for both the closing as well as the opening of the valves. This ensures that the valve is always positively closed when the unit is under pressure condition and no air that is no starting air is supplied to the unit even mistakenly when the unit is under pressure condition. I hope this clears the doubts and this helps you to understand the difference between the Sulzer air starting valve and the MAN BMW starting valve. Please like, share and comment and subscribe to our channel if you like the content so that we can receive encouragement to make similar content in the future. Thank you everyone.